What's it like to be a knight? Follow along as we journey through an entire year with a freshman, a sophomore, a junior, and a senior at Mount Michael. And we'll discover what it means to be a knight. We're in the chapel. Uh, the last month has been going real well again. Uh, probably my most improved course over the past month has been my anatomy class. So I started kind of in a struggle, but lately I've just really been going on the right track and getting up to, up to par. Uh, last month's been great. You know, football ended, basketball started. Uh, I also recently discovered that my physics teacher is honestly probably one of my favorite teachers of all time, Mr. Primavera. He's been absolutely amazing to our class and teaches us really well. Um, classes are going well. I've been doing really well in all my subjects. I haven't really had any disappointing tests or quizzes, so that's good. I like all my classes. Um, English is always fun with Ms. Sullivan. Quarter ended, first quarter ended, second quarter started, cross country ended, and so now it's like my off season. Mr. Mac Prink, he's just a really cool teacher, and I enjoy having the class with because it's with sophomores, and I think it's fun to hang out with them sometimes too. Well, every Monday morning, all the students and faculty and monks all gather in here, and we usually elect one of the students to give a talk about one of the Benedictine values, whether it be community, service, or faith, and they give a talk, and then then usually after that, Dr. Peters comes up and like announces the week announcements. Uh, Mount Michael has really taught me how to be a leader and uh, how to lead correctly and in a Christian way. Absolutely, I'm a spiritual person, and definitely having the monks here on campus, like with us in the classroom and you know in the cafeteria, definitely you get you get the sense of Catholicism in your everyday life. I consider myself very spiritual, especially compared to most teenage boys my age. Um, I pray, I go to Mass. Going to public school, you couldn't exactly talk about what you believed in without getting in trouble for it. So now here it's nice that you could freely talk about God, you can freely pray with friends, and it's not a big deal. biggest success. I sprained my ankle and that wasn't good, but go Knights. Go Knights. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great.